What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be ripping into three blaster boxes of the brand new 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. Uh, this product literally just came out yesterday, so I wanted to grab some blaster boxes and um, show you guys what sort of stuff you can get out of these. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking any up or anything like that, I love Topps Chrome personally. I'll be ripping a lot of Topps Chrome on the channel. This is one of my favorite products of the year for sure. As you can tell in the back, I like to uh, collect the Topps Chrome rookies of, of some of the top guys. So you see the, the Vladdy over here, PSA 10, Tatis, both from 2019 Chrome. And then from last year's Chrome, we got the Robert and the Bichette. So um, this year, the blaster boxes are a little bit different than they were in the past. They still come with eight packs per box. Uh, 32 cards total, so four cards per pack. The, MS the MSRP actually went up 50%. So last year, I believe these were selling for $20 in stores, and now you're only gonna be able to find them for $30 in stores, if you can even find them. Uh, secondary market, you're probably paying somewhere around $40 right now. If you wait a little bit, you might be able to get them around 35, but uh, I'm not sure. I know people aren't too hyped on this rookie class, so they may go down. Um, another new thing about this year is last year in the blasters, they came with four sepia parallels and those came in their own pack. Um, this year, since they're not making the cello packs, they added two sepia and two pink to each blaster and they're just inserted in the regular packs like normal refractors. So that's definitely a change, um, from years past. Uh, also I was looking at the checklist. It looks like they added a few colors here. They have a new magenta parallel out of $3.99, a magenta speckle parallel out of $3.50, an aqua parallel out of $1.99, and aqua wave out of $1.99. So um, it does seem like they may have printed more this year, just adding those different parallels. Uh, but I guess we won't really we won't really know for for a while. Um, the autograph checklist on this is also pretty deep. I think last year had around 70 rookie subjects and this year it's 133. So um, even if you do hit a, a an auto in one of these, which is, I think I've been seeing them come around maybe every four, every five blasters, uh, you're, you have to be really, really lucky to hit one of the top guys. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see more Tops Chrome, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, I'll have a lot more blasters coming, some more, or I bought some hobby boxes directly from Tops. When the mega boxes come out, if they come out, I think they are, um, we'll do those. And then if you guys want to check me out on Instagram, on eBay, it's TMN underscore sports underscore cards. So yeah, let's get into these. Um, like I said, really excited. Love Tops Chrome. Love the design every year. Obviously it's, it's just the flagship parallels or the flagship um, design, but in the Chrome version. So let's check it out and see what it looks like this year. First pack, first blaster. Looks like we have an insert on the back. And here's the design this year. Looks just like Series 1 and Series 2, um, just with that Chromium design. There's the back, so you guys can see. So starting off with AJ Puck. Uh, Vladdy. Ooh, here's a nice prism refractor of Paul Goldschmidt. Those are not numbered. And I believe they come around one per box. And then the insert of Tony Gonsolin, that's the future stars. These are also not numbered. So cool, pretty cool design. Um, hoping to hit a lot of refractors out of these. Like I said, even if you do hit an auto, you're probably not gonna get the best name. So I think you're, you're going for the color and then for the uh, refractors in these. So Verlander, Kiermaier, that's Dansby Swanson. And our first pink is a rookie of Shane McClanahan. That's what the pink's looking like this year. It looks really sharp. Pink's always nice. And I have read that the magenta parallels that are out of 399 look very, very similar to the pink parallels. So that may be something to watch out for when you guys are breaking into these uh, if you see a thick card, it's going to be a numbered card. So, Chris Archer, Rafael Devers. It's our first look at the base baseball insert. Venezuela, Gleyber Torres. There's the back of that one. It's a cool looking design there, and a nice Dylan Carlson 1986, 
inserts. These are not numbered. These were also in Series 1 and Series 2, but now they're chromium and refractor. So that's a good-looking one. Good player, too. Let's get into the third pack here. Willie Castro. have a refractor coming up. Brandon Woodruff. The refractor is Victor Robles. It's a base refractor design. Cool one. And our first sepia parallel is Nick Castellanos. So I know a lot of people don't really like the sepias. Um, I don't mind them. I think they're pretty cool looking. So, Let's see, we got. I think we're halfway through this box now. Still looking for our first number card. Josh Donaldson on Arnado, which he's still in his Rockies uniform for some reason. Chris Bryant and our second. Pink is Austin Hayes. So one rookie pink, one vet pink. Still looking for our second Sepia parallel. Uh, Joe Adele at 1986 on the back. That's a good one. Lorenzo Kane to Nick Senzel. Tanaka. And there's that Adele, 1986 insert. I really like those. Those look really sharp. Um, especially with the, uh, the red on that black background. Two more packs in this first blaster. Nothing much so far. Not any huge base rookies. A couple nice inserts. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, Paul DeYoung, Kenta Maeda, and a, ooh, nice, Sepia Refractor, Sixto Sanchez, rookie card. It's a nice one. It's our first nice rookie parallel so far. And last pack here, finishing up with blaster number one. Doesn't look like we're going to get an autograph or a numbered card in this one, but that's okay. Eugenio Suarez, Mookie Betts. There's another refractor of Gio Urshela. And a Future Stars insert of Mike Rousseau. So definitely not the best, best blaster, but that's why I like to open these um, in sets of three. Kind of give you a better feel for, for what you can get out of these. And like I said, we'll be, we'll be opening a bunch of these on the channel. Um, got a bunch coming from Tops. I'll probably get some from some different sources and try out the hobby boxes. I don't know if I'll do a jumbo box or not, but we'll see. Whatever you guys, if you guys want to see a specific type of, of Tops Chrome, just let me know and I'll get it. First pack, blaster number two. Got a Votto. There's a Tristan McKenzie, rookie. A Dean Kramer, prism, refractor, rookie. It's a good one. And a Brendan McKay Future Stars insert. So some decent rookie parallels so far. Definitely not anybody of the top names. Looking for guys like Brian Hayes, um, Jazz Chisholm, Dylan Carlson, those sort of guys. Uh, Kyle Seeger. There's a Kiebert Ruiz rookie. A refractor of Nick Madrigal. Nice. Very nice one. Um, I know he's out for the year, but he was having a great year up until he got hurt and then I believe he got traded too so that's a great one and a Tim Anderson pink so nice really happy about that Madrigal Let's see if we can't get another top rookie out of this one maybe our first color parallel not in this pack Baez Bistremski there's the baseball insert Peru of Jesus Luzardo and a nice Casey Mize, 1986. So these 1986 seem to be flying out of uh, out of these boxes here. I'm not sure what the odds are on that insert, but definitely going to get a lot of them. It seems like. All right, Whit Merrifield, Alex Bregman, rookie card, David Peterson, and a sepia of Jose Ramirez. So four packs left in the second blaster. This one has been a little bit better than the first one. Still nothing crazy. Hosmer, Robles, so Luis Arias, refractor, and a pink of Carlos Santana. Three more packs. This one feels kind of thick. This might have a hit in this one. Mm, not sure about that actually. Brandon Marquez rookie. Uh, Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, 
and a nice Mike Trout, 1986. It's a good one. Always nice to get Mike Trout. Hope to see him back soon playing. Baseball is definitely better when he's playing. So, we've got two packs left here. Uh, William Contreras rookie, Evan White rookie, Jeff McNeil base, and a Christian Javier uh, Sepia refractor rookie. It's a good one. And last pack, blaster number two. Still haven't seen any of the big name rookies, I don't think. Not even their base card, so let's see if we can't get one here. Machado, there's a Luis Robert. Brandon Crawford, refractor. And a Luis Robert, future stars, insert refractor. So I was still looking for a big name guy. Let's see if this third box can can produce a, a nice rookie for us. Maybe a, our first numbered parallel, maybe an auto, something like that. Um, first two have definitely been a little lackluster, but can always turn it around. All right, first pack of the last blaster. Let's see what we got in this one. LeMahieu, Blackman base, nice prism refractor rookie. Anderson Tejeda, and a pink refractor of Justin Upton. Jake Cronenworth on the back. Nate Pearson, rookie. Ooh, nice. Cronenworth, refractor rookie card. Nice, that's a good one. Here's our first look at this insert. Prismic Power, Eloy Jimenez. Nice. It's an interesting looking insert there. And then that 1986 Cronenworth on the back. So good, nice, nice Jake Cronenworth pack there. Um, that's our second nice rookie refractor out of these three boxes. We got the Cronenworth and we got the Madrigal. Pretty decent so far. Um, especially if you can find these for, for the $30 that they should be in stores. I know it's a price increase, but Chrome is Chrome, so. Conforto. Yelich, Sonny Gray, and Sepia of Marcus Semyon. Anderson, it's an Alejandro Kirk rookie. Nice, Jazz Chisholm rookie. And a Jose Abreu pink. So there's our first decent base rookie. We've got two nice base, or two nice, uh, Rookie Refractors, that Chisholm base. Those are probably our best three cards so far. Lots of those 1986 inserts. Looks like we have another one here. Um, Alec Baum on the back. We have a, an Arietta Chapman. Rookie Refractor, Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. And there's that Alec Baum, 1986. Sleeve that one up. See, we have three packs left here. Three packs left of this first set of blasters. And it looks like we are gonna have some sort of parallel here, some sort of numbered card. Luke Voigt, the Cattell Marte, and we have a purple, should be out of 250. Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton, numbered 183 out of 299, sorry, 299, not 250. It's the purple. And then a Didi Gregorius Sepia. So first hit, three blasters. Vet out of 299. Definitely not the best, but you do like to see color popping out of these. Just kind of got to get lucky with who you hit. So two more packs. Braun, Morton again. There's a Crochet rookie. And a Zach Gallon Future Stars. And finishing up here, last pack, blaster number three. We've got Devin Williams, Buster Posey, another refractor, Chris Davis, and pink of Jock Peterson. So overall, definitely not the best, definitely not horrible. Um, we've got a decent stack of, of color and inserts here. We've got that Morton out of 299, the Bomb 86, Chisholm Base. Cronenworth, one of our better hits there, the Refractor. 
another Cronenworth. Javier Sepia, the Trout 86, Mize 86. There's our Magigal, probably our other best hit here, Magigal Refractor. We've got the Kramer, Prism Refractor, Sixto Sanchez, Sepia, Adele 86, Carlson 86, and McClanahan Pink. So, uh, like I said, we'll have a bunch more Topps Chrome on the channel here coming here shortly. So, um, if you guys want to subscribe and you guys can see those videos coming soon. All right, guys, thank you. That's it. Bye.